There is a gender issue that is a great problem in many countries in the Pacific. Uh, if I get back to Samoa, uh, Samoa, the head of the central bank there is a woman. Mo uh, uh, quite a number of the heads of departments in Samoa. Samoa, I think, is a very interesting sort of country to look at in the Pacific in, in the way that the, the, the women have risen up through the system there. There still aren't all that many in Parliament, but there are a lot more than in most other Pacific countries. In fact, in parliaments around the Pacific, the number of women is appallingly low. Uh, Papua New Guinea, everyone watching the PNG political scene got very excited when the number of women in the PNG parliament jumped 300%. But the trouble is it went from one to three out of 111. Um, so the, the, gender is an enormously difficult issue and, and one of the aspects of that which I thought we might get onto in a different subject is this burning of women who are accused of being witches is a, is a very difficult problem in Papua New Guinea and we've seen this year three or four women being not only burnt but tortured before they're burnt, accused of using sorcery to kill other people. It's, I mean, that is a bit of a, a gender issue tied up with other things I know, but, yep. you know. Uh, but as I say, I, mean, I got into trouble for saying this um, in Papua New Guinea at one stage when I was asked a question about gender. I said, I actually like women. Uh, and I'm married to one. But in the Pacific... Well, in California, it's not very popular, but... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there are really dynamic right. women around the region. Um, are they getting the opportunities they deserve?